Hi, I'm Jeff Wortham. I'm going to cover how to dig a better trench today. We're using a D-handle uh, sharpshooter shovel and a trenching shovel or a clean-out shovel uh, in tandem with one another. So I just want to cover what I find to be the easiest way to uh, dig one of these trenches. Now a lot of people try and use a trenching shovel to actually dig the trench with. My feeling is, is it's not designed optimally for that. Um, I get a lot of power and leverage with the D-handled shovel. When you're trying to work with a, um, with a trenching shovel in your hand, your hand tends to slip and slide up here. That's where you get blisters from, is when your hand can't keep traction. And also, it just doesn't give you the full leverage of your own uh, strength of your body. So um, I'm going to show you uh, what I found to be the best way to do that and I hope it helps you uh, in your landscaping endeavors and makes your life easier. So as you can see, I, I dug about an eight inch deep trench here. I did that in uh, two or three minutes. And um, I also showed you how if you try and use the uh, trenching shovel as your, as your uh, shovel to actually create the digging, that uh, it just doesn't work quite as well as using the D-handled shovel. Now, uh, just technique wise, to recap, what I do is I cut both sides of the hole. So whether that's a plant hole or whether that's a trenching hole, I like to cut my edges, get a break in the top soil, and then chip and leverage each side until I get uh, enough loose soil in there that I need to clean it out. I clean my trench, I get it out of the way, and I just start doing the same thing over again. It's very systematic, but um, frankly, I'm out of shape right now for this kind of work. But this wasn't that difficult for me to do because of the technique. And um, whether you're doing, um, you know, 100 feet of trench or whether you're doing 10 feet of trench, the easier it is for you, the better your body's going to handle it and the more you'll be able to do. So um, I hope that helps. I, uh, I think this is a really good method to do trenching and um, good luck with your project.